everybody as you say blessings welcome to your mind mothers and today we want to talk about your resilience resilience at all times it is a sign a process of holding on to the end no matter what you are facing right now you have to be resilient you have to be strong you have to be persistent you have to believe in your process and hold on to the end. See, there's a lot of things that may happen to us and to make us want to give up. Resilience means that you don't give up. You keep on pushing on, pushing on, pushing on. You keep on pressing on. Be it in your academics, you may just be reading for a course or your subjects and you want to excel in it. Some people have to feel they have to try again and again. Believe, keep on believing, keep on trying till you succeed. It's very easy to give up. It's very easy to lie down on the bed and not want to wake up, not want to leave your comfort zone. But you have to decide, encourage yourself to keep on moving forward, keep on moving onward and upward. See, your your life demands that. Speaker said that you know, the world is waiting for the manifestations of the Son of God. So the world is waiting for you to manifest. The world is waiting for you to stand firm. The world is waiting for you to show out that you will know, shine out of your light. So what is those things that are restraining you? What is those things that is angry? What is those things that seem like obstacles? You know, life itself is filled with many obstacles. It's filled with several obstacles. But we don't have to give up. We have to just find a way around it to move on. There are always things that are facing us, trying to block us, trying to hinder us from pressing on and achieving our goals. But you have to determine and decide to move on. So let those things weigh you down. Not to let those things stop you. Not to let those stop you long. Not you for moving ahead. And there are three things that I want to share. First of all, decide to excel. Decide is the decision you have to make. It is your decision that calls you. It is your decision that pushes you. You decide, okay, like you decide that you want to go to US, for example. What are you going to do? You need to start working towards it. Those decisions of yours begin to help to propel you to work towards getting your visa, work towards getting employment over there, maybe getting the school you want to study over there, and then it propels you to move on. So that is a decide but number two, focus on it, focus on your goal, focus on that thing you want to achieve. It helps you to be resilient a lot. Maybe you want to make an A in this course, maybe you want to make an A in your course. For example, a student that is facing my way or a jam to enter the university. You have to decide, decide for it, focus on your studies, make time to study, make time to yourself, make time, plan around your lectures and try to achieve it. Number three, you have to keep the right company around you. Create the discussion group to discuss those your subjects. Meet the right kind of people. You see someone that is better than you in a particular field or has a better skill you want to pursue with. Make friends with such person and decide to um, excel. You may decide to uh, to engage such a person to teach you what you know. But who can tell? You can really achieve greater results without you. And even faster too than just relying on your uh, skills alone. Because you don't know this person is better than me in this. So this is what we have for today. Thank you. Do not give up. There are the bonus, bonus point is that you have to pray. Engage God in your mission. Engage God in your goal. Engage God in those things you want to achieve. Engage Him in prayer through the word of God. Because God's word has encouraged us that He will never give up. He has encouraged us that He will be us in the end of age. So you have to engage Him in it. Tell God, I know there's one hard crying. What is that we used to make this day? We say, pray as if you have not read and read as if you have not been prayed. God is counting on you to do that. The Bible says, trust the Lord with all your heart. And lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him. You have to let him know. And what will happen? He will direct your path. God is waiting for you to engage him. See, if you don't invite God in your business, there's no way to come because the Holy Spirit is a gentle spirit. He does not impose himself on you. Like the devil may just come and enter your thoughts without even being invited. Begin to tell you negative things and you know, what to do and what not to do. 